Okay, let's talk about how to find the determinant of a two by two matrix. And you can see here, this is a two by two uh, matrix. Uh, well, actually, so we're finding the determinant of a two by two matrix. I'm gonna talk about that a little more specifically here in a second. So if you're watching this video, obviously you're interested in matrices. Uh, you know, maybe you're in an algebra two class, college algebra, whatever it might be. Uh, matrices are very, very important topic in uh, algebra. And when you're studying them, you need to learn how to find the determinant. And when you study determinants, you first learn how to find the determinant of a two by two matrix, and then you move up to a three by three. So we're obviously just gonna focus on the two by two here as the three by three matrix uh, and beyond is, um, you know, requires more work. Okay, this is gonna be pretty easy, but we're gonna kind of emphasize some basic uh, concepts about matrices and determinants uh, in this video. So with that being said, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also middle and high school math teacher and over several years I've constructed many, many full complete online math program, math courses. Uh, and so I'm going to leave a link to those courses in the description of this video. So if you know, if you feel like you want more instruction from me, you like my teaching style, you understand my, the way I teach, then you want to check out my uh, full uh, complete courses there. Also, I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel. I already have hundreds and hundreds of uh, math videos on my YouTube channel. It's taken me <laughs> 10 to 12 years to do these. I love teaching math, obviously. So I have a ton of stuff you can find there. And then if you like this video, please do me a favor and uh, smash that like button. All right, let's get right to it. So the determinant of a two by two matrix. Okay, so let's uh, first talk about a couple things. So in the universe of matrices, okay, we have something called a matrix, and then we have a determinant. So we gotta be very careful with the notation here, all right? So matrix notation is when we have these brackets like so, okay? So you have brackets enclosed. So this is a matrix, and if I say, hey, take this matrix and find the determinant, the notation is gonna be like these uh, little like they look like absolute value bars. People don't confuse these. These are not an absolute value function, but they're straight up and down. Uh, and this is, it's not a small little detail what I'm going over with because in math, this notation means something. Okay, so this is a matrix. And here, this is the determinant of this particular matrix. Okay, so we can even give a, a matrix a name. So we can call this matrix A and this would be the determinant of matrix A, okay? So determinant, so now that you kind of understand that, so if you were confused about this notation, just be very specific about it, right? So if you're calculating the determinant, you know, and you're turning in your work or, you know, homework, test, quiz, whatever it might be, just make sure you're using the correct uh, uh, notation. Don't confuse these guys with these guys. All right, so what is the determinant? Yeah, what is the determinant in the first place? So whether it's a two by two matrix, uh, three by three, whatever the case is, the determinant is nothing more than a number, okay? It's just a number and it's associated with this matrix, okay? So every matrix, now there's some other things about matrices, square matrices, et cetera, but um, a determinant is a number that's associated with a matrix, okay? So if you can find the determinant of a particular matrix, okay? Yeah, there's a number associated with that, and that's all it is. It's just a number associated with, but it serves value, and uh, there's a lot of application you can you can do with the determinant of a matrix. Okay, so that's all you need to just to know. So hey, the determinant is just some number, but that in in terms of application, depending on where you're at in studying matrices, there's a lot you can do with the determinant. Very very important concept, especially in more advanced mathematics. Okay, so just a quick review. Here, we have a matrix and this is a two by two. Why? Because there are two rows and two columns, right? And then these guys here, these numbers, are entries in this particular matrix. So um, if you're not comfortable or you know don't understand the very basic foundation of matrices or what a matrix is, um, then you wanna go back and review that because you know, uh, finding the determinant is is one of those things you do after you understand like basic addition and subtraction of a matrix or scalar multiplication, et cetera. Okay, so if you're still shaky on that, you need to kind of, you know, review that in, uh, so you can be good with the determinant. 
Okay, so with that being said, let's get into the determinant. And this is going to be super easy. All right, let's actually erase this, give ourselves some room. So we have this matrix and we want to find the determinant uh, of it. Okay, so let me just kind of erase this. How do we do this? It's going to be so easy. You're going to be like, what? I watched this whole video just to see how to do this. Well, <laughs> you know, again, what I'm trying to do here is not just show you the steps. I'm trying to give you some context so you can like, you know, really, really understand this, right? All right, so let's find the determinant of this two by two matrix. We know it's a determinant, the notations here, two rows, two columns. We have some nice, easy values. How do we do this? Very simple. We take this number, we multiply by this number like this. We go by this diagonal. All right, and that's gonna be our first number. Okay, so this is the way you always do it. You multiply these two entries here. Okay, so five times two. Let's just write this out. Five times two. Okay, so we're gonna multiply that way and then we're gonna subtract that from these diagonals. One times three. All right, one times three. And when we simplify that, we are going to get the value of this two by two. Um, uh, determinant, right? So obviously 5 times 2 is 10. 10 minus 1 times 3 is uh, 3. So 10 minus 3 is 7. There you go. Let's give yourselves a smiley face. We got this right. Some stars, A+. plus. You Listen, I mean, for those of you out there, there's a lot of things that can get confusing with matrices. One of the things that you definitely don't want to mess up is getting the answer right for uh, finding the determinant of a two by two uh, matrix. Okay, don't mess this up. Now let's let's mess around with the numbers here for a second, make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, all right. Uh, let's put some uh, some negative values in here. Right. Let's say let's just go like this for a second. Right. So how would this uh, look like? Okay, we're finding the determinant of this. This would be five times two, which is ten minus, now this is where students get messed up sometimes, one times negative three is what? That's gonna be negative three, so you're gonna to have to put that in parentheses, okay? Just so because it's the difference operator, the subtraction operator's here, you still have to find the result of this product, put it in parentheses. So just basic algebraic mistakes, um, you know, can get you in trouble. I've seen a lot of this, uh, you know, with students, they, they mess up the, the, the negative situation. So if you get a negative number here, obviously it's going to be 10 minus or minus 3 is 10 plus 3, which is 13. So that's the determinant of that matrix. So just be careful there. And in here, these can be any uh, value. So let's take a look at another problem. Make it even more interesting. It all depends how nice your math teacher is. Your, your teacher could be like a 2x, uh, x plus 1, negative x, and, oh, I don't know, let's say 4, okay? Now you're like, oh, you know, well, I got to do that. I'm like, yeah, go ahead and do it, right? So 2x, same deal, right? 2x times 4, that gives me 8x minus the product of, negative x times x plus 1. So let's write that out. Negative x times x plus 1. I'm just making these problems up on the fly just to show you that, you know, the entries in your determinant don't have to be nice little, you know, whole numbers, integers. They can be anything, right? But same principle applies. You're just going to have to follow your algebra uh, skills along the way. So let's go ahead and clean this up. So that'll be 8x minus, let's uh, do the destroyed property here, negative x squared. All right, so this times this, and that'll be negative x. So now I can distribute this negative. Remember, this is like a plus negative 1. Okay, so I can distribute this in. So that's going to be 8x plus a negative of a negative x squared is going to be a positive x squared, and a negative 1 times a negative x is going to be positive x. Okay, so hopefully I'm not making any mistakes here. I think everything's good, and it's 8x. Da, 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 da. Okay, everything is looking pretty good. Now, we can go ahead and combine like terms. So we'll write this in standard form. We always like to put our highest powers first. So that would be x squared plus 9x. And there you go. That's a determinant of uh, this particular um, uh, matrix. Okay, well, this is not the matrix. It came from the matrix like so. But if you were going to find the determinant of it, this would be it. 
And here, this would hold true for any value of x that you plug in, right? You can just use this little uh, expression to get the determinant every time. Okay, that is uh, two by two determinants. Um, hopefully found that pretty easy. Again, three by three determinants, whole different ball game. Uh, much more involved, definitely far more confusing for students. So if you really wanna um, uh, check that out, I don't believe I have a YouTube video on three by three determinants, so I'll put that on my to-do list, but I definitely have complete full instruction on this stuff in my like algebra two course, college algebra. So you can find that. I have a, a, many, many courses. So you can find all my complete full instruction on all of that stuff. Just go ahead and click the link in the description of the video. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventure. Thank you for your time and have a great day.